large seven-seat off-roaders typically come with equally large price tags. However, the Skoda Kodiak is available from under £22,000, £24,000 in seven-seat form, substantially less than Kia, Hyundai, Nissan and Land Rover rivals. Despite the attention-grabbing prices, the Kodiak is anything but a budget car, feeling a rung or two above the Kia Sorento, Hyundai Santa Fe and Nissan X-Trail when it comes to equipment, quality, comfort and road holding. The Land Rover Discovery Sport, meanwhile, gets much closer to the mark, but still can't match the Skoda's feel-good factor on the inside, even with its much higher prices. As a result, the Skoda Kodiak's appeal comes from the fact it feels like it should wear sister brand Volkswagen's badge, though it dramatically undercuts the smaller VW Tiguan off-roader, while providing much more space and equipment. Setting the Kodiak apart from many similarly priced rivals is the possibility for seven seats with a sliding middle row. Two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive models available at launch, the Kodiak range consists of three petrol and three diesel options. Petrol power comes in the form of 125 horsepower and 150 horsepower 1.4-litre motors, plus an automatic only 180 horsepower 2.0-litre model. The least powerful petrol version features front-wheel drive, while four-wheel drive is standard on the 2.0-litre. The 150 horsepower model, on the other hand, is available in two-wheel drive automatic form plus four-wheel drive manual and automatic versions. Diesel choices consist of 115 horsepower, 150 horsepower and 190 horsepower 2.0 litre units. As with the entry-level petrol, the 115 horsepower model comes in manual, two-wheel drive form only while the 190 horsepower engine is exclusively available with an automatic transmission and four-wheel drive. The middle engine can be had in manual and automatic four-wheel drive incarnations, while a two-wheel drive automatic is also on offer. For a car so large, and capable of carrying so many passengers and luggage, it's the two more powerful diesels that make the most sense, while the 125 horsepower petrol seems an unwise choice. The slick DSG automatic gearbox suits the car extremely well, too. Basic S trim, which lacks any parking sensors and cruise control, is a little on the stingy side while the fully loaded edition gets niceties including standard metallic paint, leather seats and wireless phone charging. Say L trim strikes a good balance with satnav, a powered tailgate and seven seats as standard. Budget around £30,000 to £33,000 for a 150 horsepower or 190 horsepower DSG model in this trim. Good value PCP finance deals monthly payments for the Kodiak are competitive. High expected residual values and low list prices compensate for the relatively high APR charges and lack of deposit contribution. Due to the low cash prices, the Kodiak is also good value overall if you plan to make the optional final payment to buy the car at the end of the contract. If you simply want a spacious, well-equipped Skoda, you're likely to pay much less per month with the superb estate, however. The Ford Kilga and Volkswagen Tiguan will cost you less each month, too, though you'll probably need to budget more for the Hyundai Santa Fe and Land Rover Discovery Sport. Claimed fuel economy goes up to 56.5 miles per gallon with emissions of 131 grams slash km. This may not make the Kodiak the most obvious company car choice, but low list prices mean that big tax charges for company car drivers are very competitive, starting at pound 90 slash pound 180, for 20% slash 40% tax payers respectively, for the petrols and pound 117 slash pound 234 for the diesels. The verdict keenly priced, spacious and well specified, the Kodiak is every bit the pragmatic choice you'd expect from Skoda. Whether you choose petrol, diesel, two or all wheel drive, running costs are also admirably low, and handsome styling helps make this one the most desirable car Skoda has ever produced. Review to see how the Kodiak fares on the road and against rivals including the Kia Sorento, Land Rover Discovery Sport and Nissan X-Trail. Diesel engines make the most sense or wheel drive adds all weather usability petrol engines like low down talk it's a tale of two halves regarding performance for the Kodiak, the entry level 125 horsepower petrol and 115 horsepower diesel don't have the muscle to confidently lug a seven seat off roader, passengers and luggage, especially if you plan to head for the mountains. The midrange 150 horsepower diesel, meanwhile, is much more fitting offering reasonable acceleration and sufficient muscle at low engine speeds.
There's another step up to the 180 horsepower petrol and 190 horsepower diesel, which should be unfazed by heavy loads and a full complement of passengers. Acceleration is a mixed bag slowest is the 125 horsepower 1.4 litre petrol, which takes 10.7 seconds to accelerate to 62 miles per hour, 10.9 seconds in 7 seater form. Figures for the least powerful, 115 horsepower diesel are yet to be confirmed, but the 150 horsepower model takes between 9.6 and 10.2 seconds for the benchmark acceleration test, depending upon whether four wheel drive an automatic gearbox or seven seats are fitted. The 150 horsepower petrol offers similar performance, with official figures of 9.4 to 9.9 seconds. The fastest models are the automatic only 190 horsepower four-wheel drive diesel, which takes 8.6 seconds to sprint to 62 miles per hour, 8.8 seconds in seven-seat form, and the 180 horsepower petrol, which also comes with four-wheel drive and an automatic and takes between 7.8 and 8.0 seconds. Despite the figures, it's the 190 horsepower diesel that feels most suited to a large off-roader, with enough punch to shrug of carrying seven passengers and luggage. The Bluff Aerodynamics limit the Kodiak's top speed, which varies from 117 miles per hour to 130 miles per hour, but the 150 horsepower versions feel more than happy at motorway speeds. The petrol 150 horsepower version needs to be worked harder when driving faster, as it offers less muscle at low engine speeds. Diesel engines make the most sense for large Kodiak as a result, it's the diesel motors that feel most suitable. The 150 horsepower version offers a reasonable spread of power, with 314 newton meters of torque, and works very well with the slick DSG automatic gearbox. Gear changes are practically imperceptible and the car does a very good job of selecting the gear you want without hesitation, making it the transmission to go for, especially as the manual alternatives are a little notchy. We'd steer clear of the least powerful petrol and diesel models and for most buyers the 150 horsepower diesel is a wiser buy than the similarly powerful petrol. The 190 horsepower diesel with 400 newton meters of torque costs around 1,000 pounds more than an equivalent 150 horsepower diesel and will suit those who regularly plan to carry a full complement of passengers and luggage. Top spec versions come with drive mode select, which lets you change how responsive the engine and gearbox are and alter the weight of the steering. The differences are relatively subtle, but let the driver tailor the car to better suit their needs. Lackluster petrol engines kicking things off here is the 1.4 litre petrol engine with 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque. In other applications we've been quite impressed by this unit but in the Kodiak it feels a little overwhelmed, missing out on the 150 horsepower diesel motor's more substantial torque. The most powerful 2.0 litre petrol also struggles to make a strong case for itself despite producing 180 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. The standard fit DSG automatic gearbox hampers performance, being too eager to change up a gear under normal driving conditions and too slow to respond when you wish to push on. Press the drive mode select into sport and the gearbox becomes more responsive, but the overall performance is still underwhelming. The fact that its fuel consumption never bettered 35 miles per gallon during our time doesn't provide much confidence in the way of keeping running costs low either. Comfort-focused suspension with a sporty edge body control is admirable for a large vehicle dynamic chassis control adds adjustability the Kodiak may be a big car, but it feels much more nimble than you might expect, it's based on the VW Golf's underpinnings after all, and the way it drives is tellingly similar to the smaller hatchback. The view from the driver's seat is also good making it an easy vehicle to place on the road, though the absence of any parking sensors on the base model makes it unnecessarily difficult to park compared with rivals. All other models feature at least rear parking sensors. The steering provides a good sense of control, too, offering a little more weight than some rivals and the Kodiak takes corners confidently, with the body remaining well controlled, even when taking tighter corners at speed. The optional dynamic chassis control system varies the stiffness of the suspension and offers normal, sport and comfort modes, also changing the weight of the steering and linking to the drive mode select system, which alters throttle and gearbox responsiveness. All modes offer a subtle but noticeable change in suspension and steering characteristics, with comfort offering the cushiest tried and slightly less responsive handling, while sport firms up the suspension for greater control around vents.
steering weight increases in sport mode, too, though each setting offers a reasonable feel without being overly light or excessively heavy. Strong, VW-backed build quality and materials wood pattern trim adds interest to the cabin closes the gap to seat and Volkswagen rivals those go to sits below Audi, VW and seat in the Volkswagen Group hierarchy, the interior of the Kodiak would not be out of place in one of the group's more upmarket models. The materials used mostly feel very high quality, including the soft, fragrant leather, and most models have plenty of standard kit. The layout of controls is easy to work out and the crisp at inch display on top model sat nav systems is bright and easy to read on the move. On our test route, we did find the sat nav instructions less than clear, however, as we were unsure at times which lane we needed when the road forked. The touch screen interface of the media system can be distracting compared with rival units which feature a control knob behind the gear lever, though steering wheel controls and a display screen next to the speedometer help to simplify things. Air conditioning controls mimic those in numerous Volkswagens, meaning very simple, easy to use rotary switches to set the temperature and fan speed. The Kodiak may not quite meet Volkswagen or Audi standards in terms of how premium it feels but it's much closer than you'd expect considering how low the prices are. Big, comfortable seats are light to cushy ride quiet cabin isolated from tire and wind noise less powerful engines are noisy when pushed the large, well padded front seats offer very good back support and hold you in place well around corners. The rear alt, and optional boot mounted 6th and 7th seats, are also comfortable, with sufficient room for average size adults in the back if you slide the middle row forward. Heated front seats standard on the top half of the range, offer extra comfort on cold days. The suspension is similarly costly even when fitted with 19-inch wheels. The ride is smooth and soaks up bumps well, though the car doesn't wallow around bends. Bigger bumps do make themselves felt, though the car effectively isolates you from the road surface. Little noise makes itself heard in the cabin, with low engine, road and wind volumes, though you can hear air rushing around the windscreen at motorway speeds. Allied with the DSG automatic gearbox, the 150 horsepower diesel doesn't need to work hard for steady progress, meaning that it's hardly audible half of the time, and less noticeable than in the manual alternative. With super smooth changes from the automatic, this gearbox boosts comfort overall. The 1.4 litre petrol is quiet in isolation, though with less torque it has to be worked harder than the diesel for brisk acceleration, bumping up the volume level. Base spec is Spartan but others are well equipped air conditioning and alloy wheels on all models top spec edition has loads of kit, plus many options standards go to Kodiak SUV equipment entry level S trim is a little Spartan for this class of car, and engine choice is limited to just the 125 horsepower petrol, though air conditioning, 17 inch alloy wheels, a digital radio and keyless go are all included. If you want rear parking sensors, cruise control and automatic headlights and wipers, However, you'll have to step up to say versions. Say models gain 18-inch alloys, tinted rear windows, an 8-inch touchscreen media system and dual-zone climate control. Seven seats add around £1,000 to the price, though they are standard on say L and edition trims. In addition, say L versions get 19-inch alloy wheels, a powered tailgate, sat nav with Wi-Fi, drive mode select, Alcantara upholstery with heated front seats plus bright LED headlights. Range Topping Edition Kodiaks boast different 19-inch alloy wheels, leather seats, standard metallic paint and chrome roof rails. Wireless charging for mobile phones and phone box, which boosts signal, call quality and reduces battery drainage, come as standard, as does safety kit including lane assist, high beam assist and blind spot detection. The Kodiak includes door protectors, too, which protect the edges when you get in and out in tight parking spaces while same models upwards feature an umbrella in the front doors. Also available is an area view camera, which shows obstacles all around the car when parking and a virtual pedal which automatically opens the boot if you swipe your foot under the rear bumper. Meanwhile, the sat-nav system fitted to top spec models includes Google Earth and Google Street View functions, and shows fuel prices, parking information and weather details. An off-road mode is also optional on four-wheel drive models with drive mode select and adjusts the operation of chassis, engine, and brakes when you head off the tarmac. Optional Skoda Kodiak SUV extras as is common these days you can choose between individual options, like three-zone climate control, heated windscreen and heated washer nozzles, and Canton sound system, or packs of kit.
We like the children's pack which adds manual roller blinds for rear side windows, a bin in the door panel and electric child lock activated from the front seat. Elsewhere the LED interior light pack adds some glamour with LED strips in the front and rear doors and LED footwell lighting with a choice of 10 colours. Lots of standard and optional safety kit 3 isofix mounts across the middle row add bullet point if not already there the Kodiak has scored a strong Euro and Cap 5 star safety rating, which is no surprise considering the amount of standard safety equipment fitted. 7 airbags are standard, as a stability control and front assist which monitors the road in front of the car using radar and works with autonomous emergency braking to stop the car if it senses stationary pedestrians or vehicles ahead. This system only works at up to 21 miles per hour, however, limiting its usefulness in urban driving. How many isofix points in the Skoda Kodiak? Just three across the middle row, and none on the optional third row unlike the VW Touran MPV or the Audi Q7, which both offer mounts on all five rear seats. There are a number of optional features including adaptive cruise control, which automatically keeps you a safe distance behind the car in front, plus lane assist, blind spot detect and cross traffic alert. These systems keep you in your lane and warn you of vehicles approaching from behind. Another handy feature is trailer assist and maneuver assist. The former takes control of the steering when reversing to guide the car and trailer in the specified direction. The latter can automatically brake the car to avoid bumping into obstacles behind the car. Finally, the optional crew protect assist closes the windows and sunroof and tensions the seat belts automatically if it senses that you're about to crash. Capacious Kodiak offers room all round massive boot with seats up or down relatively small footprint makes parking easy when it comes to boot space. The Kodiak offers much more room than similarly sized off-road arrivals. Even with 7 seats in use there are 270 litres of space to play with, extending to around 700 litres, depending whether the car has 7 seats or not, with 5 seats in place and a huge 2065 litres with the all seats folded. This means that the Kodiak provides twice as much room as the Nissan X-Trail and even larger Kia Sorento with 7 seats in place, while also outstripping the Land Rover Discovery Sport. As a result this Skoda is a good candidate if you plan to use all of the seats and need some room for luggage. It's a similar story with 5 seats in place, with the Skoda giving you around 10% more room than competitors. The rear seats slide by a substantial 18cm, meaning that those in the middle row can have limo-like legroom or you can slide them forward to provide enough room for two adults to use the optional third row. The rearmost seats aren't the most spacious but room in the third row is good for this class of car and it is possible for average size adults to get comfortable, though they won't want to spend hours in the back. Access to the front two rows is very good, with low door sills and long doors making getting in and out easier than most high riding off-roaders. Handily, the boot cover also fits below the boot floor when all seats are in place. Adding to practicality, there is a deep storage tray in front of the gear lever, large door bins front and rear and a reasonably large front armrest which houses a tray with two cup holders in it. You can also remove this if you want to keep larger items to hand.